if you're shooting at night or in low light and you adjust your aperture and shutter speed but you still need more light what should you do what is iso and how to use it coming up What is ISO? ISO is the sensitivity of the camera sensor. If you remember in the 80s and the 90s when we go to buy a camera film, it has this number on the pack, 100, 200, 400. This is the sensitivity of the film. In digital cameras, the ISO reflects the sensitivity of the camera sensor. The lower the ISO number, the lower the sensitivity, the better the quality. The higher the ISO number, the higher the sensitivity of the sensor, the lower the quality. When the sensitivity goes up, that will create more noise. Normally, at daylight, using ISO 100. But if you go to shoot in low light or at night time, that time you're going to use a higher number of ISO. But be careful, a higher number of ISO will create more noise in your image. In this example, I'm going to show you the impact of ISO on light and noise. I used a fixed aperture and shutter speed. And then I changed the ISO number from ISO 100 to ISO 6400. As you can see, because of the sensitivity went up, the image became brighter. But on the other hand, that created more noise. Now I'm going to show you how to get the same exposure using different ISO numbers. I used wide lens aperture 1.8 to allow more light into the camera sensor. When I used ISO 100, I had to get more light by slowing down the shutter speed to 1 6th of a second. This allows more light into the camera. On the other hand, when I used ISO 6400, the shutter was fast, 1 over 500 of a second. I used a higher ISO number to increase the sensitivity of the camera sensor to get more light into the camera. The final result will be the same exposure in both images. But if we have a close look, the amount of noise has increased in the image with the higher ISO number. Be aware, when you are shooting a still object, you can't achieve this result without using a tripod. Is noise good or bad? Actually, in photography, the less the noise, the better the image. But in visual effects industry, sometimes they use this noise to combine live action footages with the CG elements together, so they need that noise. What the relation between the noise and the camera sensor size? If you're using a full frame camera, the size of the sensor will be bigger. That means it will be better in quality and less in noise. If you're using crop frame camera, the size of the sensor will be smaller, so the quality will be lower and the noise will be more. The bigger the camera sensor, the better the image and the noise will be less. The smaller the camera sensor, the lower quality the image and you will get more noise. Now let's see some images of using different ISO with different light conditions. To get the right exposure, you need to use aperture, shutter speed and ISO combined. These are the three elements of the exposure triangle. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. If you need to know more about shutter speed and aperture, just watch the last two episodes. And if you want to know how to be more creative in the future, consider subscribing to the channel and hit the bell. Thank you and see you in the next video.